Welcome to another tutorial by Shadow Dragon. Today I am going to show you how to make an inchworm drive. This is a, actually a very simple build. Uh, the only place it gets complicated is in the materials you need to build everything. Uh, you're going to need a frame motor, which costs um, a motor, some brass, and blue alloy ingot. The motor is made with copper coils, iron, and blue alloy and the copper coils are made with fine copper wire iron bars and iron and the fine copper wire is made with a draw plate and copper ingots so that is a fairly involved process there you're also going to need support frames which are just brass and sticks so that one's pretty easy you're going to need some kind of blue electric power to get the frame motor energy and for that I will be using a battery box and uh, a battery of course and the battery recipe is just nickelite, copper and tin. Uh, this one is actually full which is why the recipe was not showing up for that. So let's get started. The uh, inchworm drive is a device that allows a frame machine to move under its own power without being pushed by a stationary frame engine. So the way this works is you build an L shape with your support frames and in the empty space you place your frame and another on top of that. Now all you have to do is make the top frame motor push the bottom frame motor so that it is touching the other part of the L. Okay, And you do that with your screwdriver. So hold shift until this faces down. You'll be able to tell because uh, this will face down as well. So we'll hit this. Okay, and there you go. Now we need to orient the arrow that's under this so that it is pushing the, the motor to the left. And the way you tell is the black part of this is also the direction, the side that that's on is the direction that the arrow is pointing. So right now it's pointing forward this way, which is not what we want. So now it is pointing to my right, which is correct. So all we have to do now is orient the arrow on this in the same direction, okay? And then you need to make sure that your frame, your support frames are not, are either not touching anything that would interfere with their movements, which is going to be that way, or they have covers on every spot that could touch something that would interfere. So I'm going to put a cover here. And now the whole thing should be able to move once we give it power. So for the time being, uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to put my power right here. This should be a safe spot to place your power. Okay. And I'm going to just charge it up with a battery for now. We'll get a couple of them. And you can get the redstone signal to these however you'd like, but I'm just going to, for the moment, show you how this works. You'll give the top frame a redstone signal first, and that will push your frame motor and then the bottom one will get a redstone signal and that will push it back into the original position which allows the entire thing to be reset but moved one forward as you can see so if I continue to cycle power on these you'll see the entire thing moves forward so now if you wanted to anything that you attached to these frames and that includes these top two 
The only one that has to be uh, separate from the frames is this bottom motor. Okay, and power transferred into, these all conduct, so power transferred from the battery into this top frame motor will go into the bottom frame motor. And once you've given a redstone signal to the top frame motor, it's still touching the battery, which will give it power if it needs it as well. So your bottom frame motor will, and your top frame motor will always have power as long as this battery is charged. Now one way you could turn this device into something that only requires one redstone signal instead of two, one for each engine, would be to make it so that when the top motor moves the bottom one, it automatically moves it into a position where it is already receiving a redstone signal. So the way you could do that is, for instance, to place a frame here and we'll of course have to put a cover on that so that it doesn't interfere and then you can place panels so that you can put logic and things like that on here so we're gonna place a toggle latch here and then orient it so that the part that has a signal goes towards the engine there you go. And now, to keep our lever on, I'm just going to put a couple more frames. And as you can see, when I power this, it automatically powers the other motor, and the whole thing moves forward. So now all you have to do is provide a redstone signal to the top motor, and your frame machine will move forward under its own power. And that is my inchworm tutorial. Thanks for watching.